Once upon a time, nestled between rolling hills and serene valleys, there existed a quaint village embraced by the teachings of Buddhism. This peaceful hamlet, known as Bodhagram, was not just a place on the map but a sanctuary of tranquility and simplicity that captured the essence of mindful living. At the edge of this village stood a monastery, a beacon of serenity that seemed to draw wisdom from the very air. This sacred sanctuary, known as the Whispering Monastery, wasn't merely a physical structure. It was a spiritual haven where the teachings of Buddha echoed through the rustling leaves and the flowing waters of the nearby waterfall. The monastery was a breathtaking sight, surrounded by lush greenery, vibrant flowers, and the soothing sounds of nature. Children and adults alike found solace in its enchanting gardens, treating them as nature's classroom where the lessons were written in the dance of leaves and the melodies of birds. In the heart of the monastery, there resided a venerable monk named Master Carvey. With a flowing robe and an aura of grace, he was known not only for his deep knowledge but also for his ability to impart wisdom in the simplest yet profound ways. Master Carvey was a living embodiment of the teachings he shared. Once a day, the students, both young and old, gathered near the mesmerizing waterfall, eager to absorb the timeless stories Master Carvey wove. It was a daily ritual, a communion of souls thirsty for enlightenment. As the children gathered around Master Carvey, their eyes sparkled with anticipation. Tell us a story, Master Carvey, they chimed in unison. The monk smiled warmly, his eyes reflecting the accumulated wisdom of years and began. Today, my dear ones, let me share a tale of dedication and the pursuit of perfection. In a small town near Bodhagram, there lived a gifted statue maker named Mr. Tanaka. His workshop, nestled amidst the town's hustle, was a haven where stone and art converged into enchanting sculptures. What set Mr. Tanaka apart was his unwavering attention to detail. He believed that the soul of a statue lay in the intricacies of its features, the curve of a smile, the delicate folds of a robe, the lifelike gaze in the eyes. Each stroke of his chisel was a deliberate act, guided by a commitment to perfection. One day, Mr. Tanaka's daughter, Lily, entered his work area in his shop. Lily was a curious and adventurous girl. She noticed her father diligently working on a second statue identical to the first. Father, inquired Lily, her curiosity bubbling. Why are you making another statue just like the one you made earlier? Mr. Tanaka, with the grace of a wise teacher, explained. Good question Lily, you have an observant eye. The customer had requested a specific statue, but a tiny mistake had slipped in. Despite the imperfection being nearly invisible to others, Mr. Tanaka felt a personal obligation to make it flawless. Lily, with a furrowed brow, said, but Dad, it's such a tiny mistake. No one will even see it. Mr. Tanaka, with a gentle smile, replied, Lily, it's not about what others see. True dedication means doing your best, even when no one else notices. It's a journey of excellence. Lily pondered this for a moment before inquiring further, do you think the customer will appreciate the effort? With a twinkle in his eye, Mr. Tanaka responded, perhaps not, but I will know that I gave my best. That, my dear, is what matters. Lily said, you inspire me, Dad. But why do people think only boys can be statue makers? My friends say girls can't do it. Mr. Tanaka, proud of his daughter's potential, shared, Lily, people sometimes hold on to old beliefs, but remember, you can do anything you set your mind to. Girls can achieve everything they dream of. Feeling inspired, Lily resolved to prove her abilities. As she began crafting small statues in her father's shop, Mr. Tanaka recognized her talent and encouraged her to dream bigger. 
The narrative unfolded into a tale of determination, as Lily embarked on her journey to create intricate statues that mirrored her passion and dedication. Her father, a guiding figure, supported her growth, confident that she could achieve greatness. Now, dear children, what have we learned today? Excitedly, the children shared their insights on dedication, pursuing excellence, and breaking gender stereotypes. Master Carvey, pleased with their understanding, proclaimed, Tomorrow, we shall meet again for more stories. Carry these lessons with you until then. As the children dispersed, the monastery seemed to resonate with the echoes of wisdom, and the sun dipped behind the mountains, casting a warm glow on the gardens and waterfall. The anticipation for the next day's tales lingered in the air, promising more enchanting stories from the wise monk.